Dear compassionate hearts, today we gather to celebrate the profound gift of friendship and the calling to extend a helping hand to those we hold dear. In a world that often echoes with challenges, our role as friends becomes an embodiment of Christ's love and action. Let us explore how we can deepen our commitment to support, uplift, and be a source of strength for our friends, following the example set by our Savior. John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. At the heart of our friendship journey is the model set by Christ himself. His sacrificial love becomes our guide, urging us to lay down our lives metaphorically by offering our time, support, and care for the well-being of our friends. True friendship mirrors the love that Christ demonstrated through his ultimate sacrifice. James 1.19 My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. The art of compassionate listening is a powerful expression of love. As we navigate the complexities of our friends' lives, let us be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. In the silence of our attentive ears, we provide a sacred space for their hearts to pour out, fostering healing and understanding. Galatians 6.2 Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. Friendship is a shared journey where burdens are not carried alone. Let us actively embrace the call to carry each other's burdens, finding strength in unity. By doing so, we fulfill the law of Christ, embodying his love through the tangible support we extend to our friends. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Encouragement and affirmation are potent tools in a friend's arsenal. In our relationships, let us be intentional about lifting each other up. Through kind words, gestures, and affirmations, we contribute to the building of a resilient, supportive community that reflects Christ's encouragement in our lives. Philippians 1, 3, 4. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Prayer is a gift we can continually offer to our friends. Let us follow Paul's example by expressing gratitude for our friends in our prayers, lifting their needs and joys before the throne of grace. Through prayer, we invite God's presence into our friendships, allowing his transformative power to work in the lives of those we care about. Bye. Forgiveness, a cornerstone of friendship. Colossians 3.13 NIV. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. In the tapestry of friendship, forgiveness is a vital thread. As friends, we inevitably encounter challenges and conflicts. Let us be quick to forgive bearing with one another just as the Lord forgave us. Through forgiveness, we mirror the grace that flows from our Savior's heart. Certainly, let's explore further aspects of supporting friends and embodying Christ's love. Romans 12, 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Empathy is a bridge that connects hearts. In our friendships, let us strive to understand and share in the joys and sorrows of our friends. Rejoicing in their victories and mourning in their struggles fosters a deep, meaningful connection that reflects Christ's empathy towards us. Ephesians 4.32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Kindness is a language that transcends words. Small acts of kindness, whether it's a thoughtful gesture, a word of encouragement, or lending a helping hand, become tangible expressions of Christ's love. Let us actively see opportunities to be conduits of kindness in the lives of our friends. Psalm 139, 13, 14. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. Every friend is a unique creation, fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Let us celebrate the distinctiveness of each friend, recognizing the divine purpose woven into their being. By affirming their uniqueness, we honor God's diverse creations and contribute to building a community that embraces differences. Colossians 3, 12, 13. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Patience is a virtue that nurtures growth in friendship. As we navigate the ebb and flow of relationships, let us embody patience, understanding that personal growth takes time. Clothed in compassion, kindness, humility, and gentleness, we create an environment where lasting bonds can flourish. But Thessalonians 5, 16, 8. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Gratitude is a transformative attitude that elevates the spirit. In our friendships, let us rejoice, pray, and give thanks continually. Cultivating a spirit of gratitude not only enriches our own lives, but also enhances the atmosphere of our friendships, fostering an environment where God's will is manifested. Ecclesiastes 4.12 Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. 
In Christ-centered friendships, our shared faith becomes a powerful anchor. Standing firm in faith together, we create a bond that withstands challenges. A cord of three strands woven with Christ at the center forms an unbreakable foundation for enduring friendship. Matthew 5, 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. In the journey of friendship, conflicts may arise. Being peacemakers reflects the character of God. As friends, let us approach conflicts with humility, seeking resolution through open communication, forgiveness, and a commitment to maintaining the peace that Christ offers. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Sacrificial love is the hallmark of true friendship. As Christ laid down his life for us, may we be willing to sacrificially love and serve our friends. Whether through acts of selflessness, generosity, or simply being there in times of need, sacrificial love deepens the bond of friendship. Proverbs 27, 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Accountability is a vital aspect of friendship. Like iron sharpening iron, let us be accountable to one another in love. Constructive feedback, encouragement, and mutual growth strengthen the foundation of friendship, allowing us to become the best versions of ourselves. Ecclesiastes 3.1 There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. Change is inevitable, and friendships need to adapt to different seasons of life. Embracing flexibility, we navigate the ebb and flow of life's changes together. A flexible and understanding spirit ensures that our friendships remain resilient in the face of life's transitions. Proverbs 17.22 A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Laughter and celebration are gifts in friendship. A cheerful heart uplifts both the giver and the receiver. In the joy of fellowship, we find refreshment for our souls. Let our friendships be marked by moments of shared laughter and celebration, creating a bond that transcends challenges. James 5.16 Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Prayer is a powerful expression of love and support. As friends, let us pray for one another, sharing our hearts and burdens. The prayer of righteous friends is both powerful and effective, bringing healing, strength, and divine intervention into each other's lives. Dear friends, as we delve deeper into the intricacies of friendship, may our commitment to conflict resolution, sacrificial love, accountability, flexibility, joyful fellowship, and prayerful support strengthen the bonds that unite us. In embodying these qualities, we emulate the love of Christ, creating friendships that stand the test of time. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit continue to inspire and guide us on this beautiful journey of friendship. Amen.